Hi and welcome to my channel. So today we want to learn how to make to change the camera from our player camera to a camera we have in our level. For example, if we have some security cameras or something like that, or if you want to uh, make a game similar to the old school, like the Resident Evil's old school. So before I start the tutorial, I want to say thank you to everybody that support me. And if you want to support me, you can go to my Patreon page. Um, depending on your subscription, you're gonna have exclusive videos, uh, also access to the video before they're published, and also all the project files from the tutorials. Uh, you can have access to my early access to my personal game project, and I can help you to fix your box and your game and things like that. Um, also, I can create for you animation, blueprints, and complete maps if you want, things like that, or create a game from this, a full game from the scratch if you want. So if you want to see all the videos is already available from the four Patreon members, you only have to go to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my channel and in the right corner here, you click here, they want to give you all the last update because I update almost every day. So this is the last update. So this is going to have the new videos I added today and also the old exclusive video already made it and also all unpublished tutorial videos already made it too and also the unpublished complete game videos so if you want to talk with me directly you can go to my discord channel so if you need help in your project thing like that or you follow the tutorial if something's not working for you or thing like that or you want to know how to make something or you want to make a request from the another video for YouTube, you can write me from the Discord. For me, it's more easy to respond from the Discord than respond from the YouTube channel. So if you want to send me your games or projects so I can play them on the channel for free, or if you want to have the latest news about my games and projects, or you want to talk with me privately or sponsorship, all you have to do is write me to my email. My email, they want to be in the description of this video with the links from the Patreon and the Discord. So also remember that 100% of the money raised from YouTube, Patreon and sponsorship, it will be for the creation of video games and for the YouTube channel. So thank you and let's start the tutorial. So open to Unreal. So let's open Unreal. And we have this third, ter uh, third person template. So I don't have nothing at all, so use the third person template, if I go play, I have the character only running and can jump and things like that. So I want to create today, like I said, a camera, so for example, if I go, I don't know, from here, they activate the ca uh, camera, like it's, um, some security camera or something like that, I'm going to go out, disactivate, if I go in, I want to activate, again, in here, disactivate. So it's something similar to the using in the old school Resident Evil. So let's create this in this tutorial. So let's close this. That's really easy to do. So the first, we want to need the camera. So let's pull the camera. So let's find some good spot, maybe there. So we need to go from the place actor, the camera. If you can see the place actor, you can go to uh, Windows. It go all the way when they say place actor. You can put it wherever you like. I put it right in the left because it's similar to the Unreal Engine 4. That's the only reason I put it in here. So now uh, let's put the cameras on here. Put camera. And uh, we need camera actor so we can put it whatever you like. Uh, maybe I want to try it here. So we need to move this a little bit. Uh, maybe rotate a little bit. And also let's do it like this to look something cool and also let us separate and up like that oh you know what maybe they look better from here so let's do the same by in here yeah a lot of cool like that so let's put it like that so okay so we want to when the player go inside here we need something to trigger here so let's do a trigger box so let's close here and let's go to trigger box and let's use one in here so let's make this more uh, bigger, so like here, a little more bigger like that, uh, we can go this, you can be bigger so it's the player jumping the activate anyways, like that, uh, let's
let's move this like that. I want to create another one, so they're gonna be Alt. I um, drag this, so we have these two nice trigger balls right here. So let's activate that. So from here, they wanna be in the top here. Click here. They wanna say Open Level Blueprint. So in here, right click. I'm gonna say Add Event Trigger Box. Collision. It got Add On Actor Begin Overlap. So click here. And they're asking for something. You don't need to put nothing at all if you don't want to. But they means that whatever thing they go inside the overlap, they activate. If you only want to activate the player, you have to cost it from here. So they're gonna be like cast to a third person character. And from here, you have to go all the way. But uh, like I said, I prefer, if I can avoid uh, casting, I wanna do it. So let's delete this. And for me, it's better to, from here, other actor put equal and call here get player whoops get player chart so the number zero and our player so let's do a branch so if it is true so they mean the player um, overlap this trigger i want to activate the camera so we need uh, to call something so right click and set get player controller because the controller, like the name said, they control everything. Even the player, even cars, like I showed you in the GTA tutorials, and also they can control cameras. So in here, the controller, when I call something is blend, so it's set view target with blend. So let's click here. So if it's true, I want to set view target with blend. The target is the player controller and the new view target is the camera so let's check the camera so it's right here so clicking camera go here right click and create reference to camera actor and connect this to here so the blend time i want to show you later and also this in this and this for now we don't need it so let's leave it like that so and also i want to the other trigger to do the same thing so let's oops let's create this reference Go to the third person, right click, and oh, it's the same one. Oops, so it's that one. So this, go here, right click, add event, collision, um, you're going to begin overlap, and we want to do the, also the same. So we can copy paste everything, or the only thing we need, we don't need nothing on this, use this tree. So copy and paste, and put it in here. So connect this to here. So the player character is, oops, is equal to other actors. They wanna do this. Also the player controller is the target and the camera is this. So let's compile and save and let's try this out. So they go play. So now if I go inside here, they activate the camera. But when I go out, they don't disactivate. We want to do that. So let's delete this. But also, let's check if the other working first. So you can go here and go to the other one. And let activate the camera. So let's disactivate now the cameras. So we want to, when they do this, I want to activate the camera. So I need to something to check. So the best way to do it is make a variable. So I'm gonna call activate, for example, activate. So, and set this in the end, I wanna say it's true. So we activate the camera. So in here, let's go to activate. So set, it go activate, like that. So now they have activated the camera. So let's move this. And let's make this a branch here. So go to activate, make a branch. And connect this to here and also another branch to here and connect this to here so if it's not activate let's activate the camera if it's not activate i want to activate the camera simple like that let's make a space because i need it and if it's activate i want to disactivate it so for to to disactivate let's go here let's go copy and paste 
because we need this and connect the true to here and the true to here and also set activate to false like that and the new target they're gonna be the player character because they have the own camera I don't want to drag this from there because they look, uh, look weird or make a line so I can make another one here so let's get player chat so now we have this and they supposed to work very fine so compound save and I forgot to put the target they're gonna be the player controller so let's compound save let's check this out now so let's go play so if I go here they activate the camera if I go out disactivate if I go in activate if I go out disactivate this is working perfectly fine but they have a little issue uh, some people they don't notice but I noticed myself so if you go here you activate the camera but if I go back to the same one they disactivate sometimes and sometimes they don't work so let's try if I can break this stuff actually they're working very fine <laughs> but sometimes they give me a bug here so the way to the don't have that bug I, I can show you that bug because it's working fine but to don't see that uh, bug we can make this even easier so in these folds we need to connect to here so that way whatever we're using we're using only one blend so that way we only have one system to work in because sometimes they work and not one the other one don't work in or whatever so the one they make it the thing easier so let's make this now so now they they're not gonna have that bug but like they're gonna work the same but sometimes they give me that bug but now it don't so that's better to make it to this way so that's gonna be it for this tutorial but I wanna show you f and for the end how they work in the other uh, stuff here so blend time this is like how to blend the camera to be the snapping from the um, camera player to another camera if it's zero they're gonna be right away if I put for example one they're gonna be a smooth transition so let's do that let's put everything to one so let's check it out how they work so let's go play um, if you're using one they're gonna be a smooth movement to the next camera if I go to the other one they're gonna smooth to the other one if you want to be more faster you need to change to 0 0.5 if you want to uh, no if you want to be slower they're gonna be 0 0.5 if you want to be faster they're gonna be no opposite <laughs> so if the 0 0.5 they're gonna be less if you have 0 0.3 it's gonna be less or so more faster if you put two three or four or five they're gonna be more slow now yeah so that's gonna be for the blend time and also the f uh, they have here blend function so here the linear is the like linear from a to b cubic is similar but they have more or less smooth in the ends i don't really 100 percent but i believe so and the other one is the similar but it only one way easiest in the in easy in the out or easy in out and prevent the blender is if you bring make a blend before they do everything but for working this last four you need to use blend uh, x so you have to put here how much blend you want and also you can use lock and going so that's good if you want to lock in something so in a player or something like that you normally you don't use it you don't need it but sometimes in case you want to use it because you have something for example a tree or something they're gonna cut your camera from this one they're gonna prevent that so that's gonna be end of this tutorial so thank you for watching i see you in the next video so bye bye